Hello and welcome to the 24th episode of the Crystal Quest. We tried to record this, but we started using the wrong microphone. So some of this is not going to be surprising for us, but we're still going to power through the first 20 minutes of this episode. Y'all messed up. Yeah. We are here with Nick and Mike. And oh, uh, the next Pokemon, I wonder what it is. Ho-Oh? Ho -Oh. It is Ho-Oh. All right. Not. Run, 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 run. I like this area. It's different in HeartGold and Soul Silver. I like all those little ramps that you jump off, although I don't know how they work, because I think in real life you could probably go backwards. But what is the dark spots? Like, are they holes, or is it like a floor pattern, like rugs? Or I feel like it's just stuff you shouldn't walk on. Is it, it's, is it, I don't know what this is. I it's probably it's, like, uh, like the wall. thin, uh, like wood that would go underneath the floor, but the top of the floor is missing. You'd just break it if you stood they on it. They just didn't finish. I yeah. Know, maybe it burned or something. Or no, the other no, one burned. No, didn't. Get your lore right, Mike. Get I, your lore right. I don't know the lore. So you see these teleportation thingies? They were in the self company as well. They use this thing called... What was it called? It's from the Delta episode. Magic? Infinite energy or something. It comes from Mega Evolution. Oh. Even though this is the timeline where uh, there is no Mega Evolution, or what is that? Yeah, I think that's correct. That's they, weird. Because they all die. So I always thought this was an interior room, but this is actually the top of the tin tower. Like, this is the roof. Yeah, because it's slanted. And uh, yeah, that thing is Ho-Ho, even though... Um, it's a Fero. It's, it's it, wimpy looking. It should be <laughs> way bigger. Um, and Heart Gold and Soul Silver fixed that. And there's no music for this. Yep, yeah, well, this... He had a bigger sprite in uh, Naval Rock, too. That's true. If you did the Naval Rock event. Um, oh, and Fire and Leaf Green. So Fire and Leaf Green, yeah, um, Emerald, I think, yeah. you could catch Ho-Ho and Lugia if you got a special ticket from Pokemon Rocks America, I think 2005? The ironic part is that Team Unknown actually went there, but I don't think I downloaded that ticket, because I was way more excited about the prospect of getting a Deoxys. <laughs> Deoxys. Ah. Every time. Every time. So the Sunny Day animation, it, that looks a lot like um, Rain Dance. Is that right? Yeah, looks like it. Is it just a retextured thing? We, we're, we weren't sure about that. Oh, Remember, we they, already they stuffed a lot on this game. They had to reuse some stuff. <laughs> so, anything to save memory on that tiny cartridge, which is Pokemon Gold, Silver, or Crystal. Yep, and then they even added animation after that. Alright. And so, I wonder uh, if I'll catch Ho-Oh or not. Nope. I say this even though we've already recorded part of this episode. Well, you didn't catch it the last time we recorded this episode. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because that never happened. It never happened yet. No, it didn't. It's in a different timeline. It's a different timeline. So, uh, ho is one of the only Pokemon in Crystal that I haven't caught yet, because... Uh, oh, right, because you need all three of the beasts, right? You literally have to catch all three uh, beasts huh. to get to fight ho -Oh. But that, they don't do that in Silver and Gold. Yeah. Uh, they, I guess they want it to be extra annoying. Or at least make, them more, make the dogs more prevalent. I say dogs, but they're really the legendary beasts. And so, um, Meganium's dead. Yay! So what will I do? What will I do? Run. There's no hope. So no hoo-hoo. Kenshin can do it. Yay. Another fire weakness. It's okay. I don't think Kenshin's really weak against fire. Well, he's not weak against fire. Because he beat Shishio. Let's... No. no? Okay. I don't know. That's alright. I no, haven't it's, seen it. <laughs> you gotta see Roroni Kenshi. It's factually it's, historic. It's historical fiction. So is Sengoku Basra to a certain degree. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. like, it's... Like, aside from, like, how overpowered everyone is, it's... And the fact that but, nobody dies. No, it's just, like, that's kind of how the history went. True, like, true. Like, the main characters are, aren't they generals, usually? They're like, yeah. They're not, yeah. They're, they're not supposed to be on the front line. No, no, they're no. They're not supposed to be in a position where they can die. Well, I mean, they did die, though. Whoa, like, Nobunaga that's... got assassinated. Well, yeah. That... And, um... Who's the big monkey-shaped dude? 
I don't remember. I think I only watched season one. Oh, okay. I don't know. Wait, you you mean Nobunaga was supposed to be assassinated? What do you mean? Tell me more about Oda Nobunaga. He was assassinated. Wow. Like, okay, in, in, in actual history, though, yes. They set fire to his castle, I believe. Mm-hmm. And one of his... Uh, what do you call them? Like... One of, one of the, his, like, chief people, like, his right-hand guys, basically turned on him and was like, yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Top ten anime betrayals. Yeah. That That's reminds me, exactly. we play a round of, uh, No Nog's Ambition. <laughs> oh, yeah, or yeah, Pokemon. Is that, is that game still going? Uh, yeah, I have, um... <laughs> In the year 20,460. <laughs> Basically, so, um... Japan is still in its feudal era. And someone, and they keep getting plague... <laughs> <laughs> so just to just to um, to, to explain, Pokemon Conquest is a game that has the character o o uh, Oda Nobunaga, and uh, I basically beat that in a side story that you have not seen yet. It's been years. It's been years. This has been a very procrastination kind of quest. <laughs> um, Didn't that come out in like 2010? No, no. Something we like record. We, well, the game came out then, but we recorded the. Adventure in 2015, and it's been a few years. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's been a couple of years. Yeah, a few would be three. Yeah, uh, I mean, unless you're getting a little, you know, optimistic that it's going to take longer. No, I think I think I'll be able to finish it this year. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the uh, the thing though is that I also got Nobunaga Ambition on the Wii U Virtual Console. Nobody has that. It's just me and yeah. probably some other people. That's it. But basically, I had all these computers go against each other. So, like, it's as if there's 16 players, and they just... And whenever one of them dies of old age, another guy, he takes the place of one of their descendants. Oh, yeah. So, basically, um, I let them go at it at, like, top speed, and they all try to conquer Japan, but... It's uh, past the year 10,000 at this point. They're all really bad at it. And uh, they always, they never, they never quite conquered Japan before dying of old age. So that's the, that's the problem. And it, that makes the game go on forever, even though they're all computers. Yeah. So See, the game's like really fun with friends. It's just, I don't think it'll ever end. Because no. if the computers can't well, end it, then... Yeah. If I the mean, computers can't end it, there's no way the, the, the human players humans can. Humans have better intelligence than the AIs. Because obviously they already finished the game in real life. Yeah, but in real life. Japan yeah, Japan wouldn't have been unified. That's true. Um, I think they all just gave up like we usually do when we play. Like Monopoly. Yeah, it's just like, you win, whatever. Burn the game board down, let's give up. Doesn't the augmented reality under- I mean, the uh, artificial intelligence understand? War is pointless. Try telling that to a machine. Yeah. Actually, they had a few AIs, um, recently. And they, they had them, like, talk to each other. Mm hmm And they were, like, really- like, they were fighting, and then they're like, Oh, let's, uh, let's end- let's end humanity or something. And it's like, what? <laughs> It's like a Google Home and like a whatever the other thing is. So wait, 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 wait. You got the robots were talking and they actually yeah. said let's. They put them together. And one, one Are was you like, sure? I don't think yeah, that's I was watching. I was watching a video about it. Yeah. I don't think that's real. The distant future. The <laughs> year two thousand. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> I don't think they now. can. I don't think they have that kind of thought. I don't... They do. They were like, "You're a robot." No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're lying. I'm not lying. I'm a human. <laughs> 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 like they're like Watson robots. What is that? Like something I could talk back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. like I think one started talking, or maybe a, maybe a person set it up, and then the robots kept going. But yeah, and they were like, "Oh, my name is blah blah blah," and then later it's like, "My name is something else." And it's like, "But you said your name was blah blah blah." No, it's not. I need to see that. <laughs> that sounds that sounds really stupid. Oh, it is stupid. <laughs> it's incredibly stupid. So, yeah. I uh, I read the little thing um, Nick sent me about uh, how Generation One was really stupid. 
Got that article that I said, yeah. yeah. Uh, apparently freeze can't be undone, or what was the deal with that? You can only be unfrozen. well, okay, ho -Oh was just frozen. Yeah. Right, and it, 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 it used a fire type move. That's, it did? That, yeah, that's the only way you can get unfrozen in this game. Would so, they use a fire type move on you? Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if it if it knows a fire move, it'll become unfrozen. Or oh. or if I mean, something if, attacks you with fire, is that true? Uh, maybe. That would make sense. I mean, that, yeah, oh, that sounds oh, accurate. We caught Ho-Oh again. And uh, what's the next Pokemon I catch? I really forget. Uh, Potato salad. Pupitar! Yeah, no, oh, yeah, because um, it's time to go to Mount... S well, first we're going to go to this route. Yeah, because this is the last route in the whole game that I haven't defeated all the trainers on. Because there's really no reason in the story to go this direction. Because I already got the 16th badge. But in any case, it's the 49th hour. Um, and I... This one is the one I will faint in order to get Larvitar, right? Pupitar. Pupitar. I get confused because uh, Pupitar is a larva. Did it call it Pupitar or it's, Pupitar? No, it's, no, it's, it's Pupitar. Pupa, like a pupa? Yeah. Pupitar. I mean, it, it could have gone either way. When I was a kid, I wasn't sure. I was like, they wouldn't name it after Houndor. Houndour. Houndour. We've been through this. Yes. But, um, there's a weird thing about this. It turns into a cocoon. He's not a bug. But, yeah, exactly. But that's he's clearly a cocoon. He has eyes. He has less arms. He blinks at you. <laughs> Did dinosaurs turn into... Cocoons when they I don't wait. What if it was a grub? Maybe. Oh, it's on the 51 hour, so that's uh, it's been about two hours. Now oh, it's been four or five. Like five hours. Yeah. All right. Gravelanche. That is actually the French name for graveler. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. I thought Dave made that up. Yeah, I thought he did. But he did make it up, and so did the French. <laughs> <laughs> it's Inception. Great. It's weird. So this is the one that, um, you know, five hours of work can get you from a Pupitar to a Tyranitar, apparently. Um, not worth. It, no, it was good. It was good. The game is also leveling up a good amount. But there's uh, still one more Pokemon in Crystal that I have to catch after this. That is a Sunflora, because we need the Sunstone. But it's Saturday, so we have to wait till Tuesday. To win the bug catching contest. That like makes no sense. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But so before before okay, this is Monday. Cause I've been training some extra Pokemon. Um in my attempt to uh create a glitch. Basically, I'm training two Sneasels, um, and I'm trying to get them to learn the move beat up and put it into slot three. Um, it is the confusing, it gets more confusing the deeper you go into this rabbit hole. But the point is I needed two of them at level 57. And, uh, in those days where I didn't have much to do, I just trained those guys up. And so, we're gonna have it forget Slash, and it'll look like just the other, it'll look like the other Sneasel. I'll show you in a second. Or, rather, pass me will. Is it gonna show you? All right, there we go. Two level 57s. So let's take that EXP share from him. All right. Wait. Yep. Did, why did you choose sneezes? Because I was supposed to get a male and a female to have both of them to have beat up in the third move, so I can create a special egg that will eventually hatch into Celebi with the right glitches. I know. What? That's weird. Wait, that is weird. Celebi hatches from the egg? It's supposed to. What? But I didn't... It just doesn't work out. But yeah. we'll get into that two episodes from now. You must not be good at cheating. Like it is a happen. really tough cheat. The Mew Glitch is so easy compared to this. Yeah. So we're in the bug catching contest. It's Tuesday. Um, the whole point is to win the bug catching contest, but I still don't know that bringing it to 1 HP is not a good idea. Right. Because, because you get more points based on the higher the HP is. That's right. Or if it's, I think if it's a rare Pokemon too, that helps. Well, that certainly helped me because uh, yes, HP was not my strong suit in this. So I probably attempted it a few times. 
Um, but this is the time where I win. Or is oh, it? we still have 19 minutes, huh? All right, everybody, get out of the park. Let's do this. Yeah, get get over here. Because I beat it in 11 minutes, I told them all to just stop. 11? No, they only give you 20. Oh. So it's the one minute then. Yeah. <laughs> wow. They only had time to get I thought it was a half three. hour. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, it's quick. Oh, cause I, so since I caught it in the first minute, yeah. everyone else only had Caterpie. They only had time to get a Caterpie and a Metapod. That's probably my head cannon. Yeah. What's the Sunstone? The Sunstone evolves two different Pokemon. It evolves Gloom into um, Blossom, other, otherwise known as... Uh, Sunny Plume. No, it's the Alola form of Vile Plume. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. And, no, it's not really true. Um, but the other one is to evolve it into Sunflora. Um, can you reuse it? No, it's like a regular stone. So you're limited to how many times you beat the contest, and you're limited by how many days that begin with T that you've been playing the contest. That's a funny looking flower. <laughs> it is a funny looking flower. It has a face on it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's creepy. Like, all right. It looks like he's a clown or something. The, this uh, this is all the Pokemon I have, um, and that is all the Pokemon you can catch only using Crystal. So it's time to start my second game, Pokemon Silver, uh, to get all of the trade evolutions. We already got the items ready for the tra trade evolutions. And uh, after that, we have um, you know a whole bunch of Pokemon to catch, except... Except for the third starter. Alright, what is the next Pokemon I catch? Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil. For the record, Nick oh, did get that Cyndaquil. right. Cyndaquil! Nick did get that right in the first time we recorded this. Only because it's a 50 50. Yep. Alright, so we're almost at the point where we're recording new stuff that we're not aware of. Wow, that's exciting. Yeah, that's it's quite... exciting. Yes. Are you um recording in mono or stereo? Stereo. So you're gonna sound like you're all the way from the left, and I'm gonna sound really loud to the right. I know. It's amazing. Wow. But um, it's pretty. Yeah, it's cool. good. It's good. So this is. So you look at the top. We changed the color of the font so that it is silvery. Ooh. Colors. <laughs> loud clapping. Sorry, headphone users. <laughs> Ooh, pretty colors. I like these openings. I like them too. I feel like it's a the more recent ones are kind of just lazy. I don't know. This, Those are not interesting. This one's not really about the game. It's about the Pokemon world. Yeah, it's a lot more interesting. Than that. Yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> After this one <laughs> is when more. they start to what? What'd they do? characters. Why'd the Pikachu oh, attack? Because he's getting ready for Super Smash Brothers. Oh, I never thought of that. Oh, is that why? Wait, when did Char this come Charizard out? isn't even in the game. That, that's actually an interesting point. When did Gold and Silver come out? Is that why in the Japan? two Pokemon in it are the Togepi and the Pikachu? I don't know what you're talking about. In, <laughs> in uh, Smash Brothers. Togepi's not in it. Jigglypuff. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's what, was that what? what we were looking at? No, they're just both popular characters. Oh, yeah. Smash and Gold and Silver came out in 98, right? In Japan. So I guess bad. so. I'm, I'm talking I about think. Melee, though, because that's the one that didn't... Oh, wait, no, they're, they're both, both in they're the original in... Super yeah. Smash Brothers. Wow. Sure I think it was 96 and 98 in Japan, and then for us it was like 98 and 2000. I might be wrong on that. But it just says 2000. For but Red those Blue. two are really popular, so they're popular enough to get into this intro. They're also popular enough to become Smash Brothers characters. Actually, no, because there's no traces of Gen 2 in Smash Smash one? No, yeah, no nothing. No, yeah. no it's just uh. It wasn't a thing. That's right. All right, so um, it's this is long, the thing. It's a long intro. I just wanted to hear the whole music, cause it's like, you know, 64 hours in. You kind of just don't want to play anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to hear this music one more time. You just want to pad this we out. We heard it 64 you? hours ago. <laughs> we did. Yep. I feel like it was probably longer than that. Yeah, well, thank you. Alright, it's Wednesday night. Starting a new game. Again, you're starting at night. At night? <laughs> you woke up. me up. It's like 10 o'clock at night. 
What time is it? Is it actually? I don't know. Is yeah. it morn? Is it morn? Is it morn? No. Might be. Maybe it's a lie. It's morn. Oh, okay. there, there's no way you're playing this at nine nine in the morning. Yeah, right. I don't expect you to do that. This isn't Pokemon Go. Yeah, uh, right. <laughs> five in the morning. I was there at three in the morning, man. <laughs> the psycho. I know, but I gotta catch them all. How many minutes? Oh. Morn in forty nine. How many seconds? They don't tell you. That's why yeah. you have to wait for the zero. Oh, there we go. Whoa, for it. I overslept. Sorry to keep you waiting. Sorry to wake you up. <laughs> Alright. So the first thing I should do is get Cyndaquil and then do all the trade evolutions. Or you could do the clone glitch and get a uh, Totodile. No clone glitch! Okay. Not until after getting 99. It's okay. You probably would have messed it up anyway. You will see how true that is. All right, so uh, we're in Johto once again, and uh, just hearing Oak Talk. Oak Talk. Oak Talk. He has a radio show somewhere oh, yeah. for this, where he would just keep talking. Come on. Okay, what's Oscar. my name? Oscar. I'm gonna be a boy character because there's no choice. Zeldo. Zel. Because oh. I can't feel Zeldo. Z oh yeah, That's right. The male version. <laughs> right, the male ending. Right. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Time to shrink you down to size. All right. But that hurt. Yeah, it was fine. Oh, good, we're good, good. We're skipping stuff, or at least we're making it faster. Ooh, Poke Gear, good. Today is Tuesday. That's a lie. Um. Yeah. So many questions. I feel like kids didn't understand what all this time stuff was. I didn't know. Right. What, I didn't know what daylight savings time was. So. But mommy, you're supposed to tell me when it is. Yeah. That's your job, not mine. All right. If you insist, I will take a Pokemon. Just take one at random. Cyndaquil. I like it. I'll take it. He's gray. Why is he gray? So, uh. I don't know. Cam's not gonna know. Oh, it froze. What? It froze. Why did it freeze? Why did it freeze? Because the silver I got from the internet is really messed up. Was it fake? No, it's, it's real, but it's like chewed on, like a dog chewed on it. Oh, like inside? No, but it's like it pushes the inside around. Oh, yeah. So here, I, I did it again, exactly the same way. Now that we have it. Oh, we got Cyndaquil. What's the next Pokemon I catch? Quilava. No, it's probably... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Quilava. Steelix! So I have to catch a second Pokemon in order to do the trading. Yeah. I'm sure nothing's gonna go wrong. Absolutely. I mean, it's not like having a game that likes to freeze randomly is a bad idea for trading. I'm sure nothing is gonna go wrong at all. What could possibly go wrong? Oh my goodness. Did I trigger the flag? Here yeah. it goes. There's a death flag. Alright. That's a boy. I know. They um, didn't have the ability. Sorry, kid. You have to cross dress in order to get in here. <laughs> That's really what happens. Yeah. When, yeah. Do they, what do they say when you uh, do We'll that? see it later. Well, at least it's not Ruby and Sapphire where if you're trained with Fire Red Leaf Green, you have to get plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Like, completely. Okay, so we sent Trent, sent Trent for Onyx, and the Onyx is holding a s metal coat? A steel excite. Steel coat. Steel coat. It's a metal coat. Iron... Turtle wax. Like iron wax. Cool, it's evolving. And the manga, Brock didn't even know. Mm -hmm. That onyx looks really weird. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one's gonna be Polycode. Right? Alright, yep, yeah, we're gonna trade that for. Oh, 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 oh. No, he's trading steel like. Uh, whatever, um. Scizor! Scizor. So it's gonna evolve. Scizor. Trade those scythes in for claws. Alright, it's time for it to evolve. What? Kenshin is evolving? 
tension evolved into Batosai. What? What is this nonsense? Here's the weird part. It froze and reset. What? Whoa, okay. Oh no! This looks like some creepy pasta <laughs> stuff right here. <laughs> what have you done? It's blood. The blood moon <laughs> rises once again. <laughs> the blue magic harps. Ooh, a red lapras. Now that's canonical. Yeah, it's cool. That's what you actually surf on. Yeah. <laughs> The black sky. This is actually interesting. Pikachu's over blood now. <laughs> oh my god. This, looks this is normal. fascinating. They're all shiny. And look at what he's doing. He's breathing fire. You compare those two, they're very different. See where um, Charizard's moving around? Yeah. Oh, because you couldn't he see He appeared him. at the top, and then he went down. Well, yeah, he does that anyway. But yeah. he's just darker when he does that. Oh. Huh. So, so this is our, this is where I live now. Opposite oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, it's, uh, we're in Hyrule Castle, I see. Whoa. All what? Right. You're the only thing with color? Wow. That's weird. You should go outside. I do have one regret. What? Well... I'll explain it. But why is it doing that? Going outside? I don't know. I was just, I was in it for the ride, man. <laughs> like, wow. This is so amazing. My one regret is I didn't go into a battle. Oh, you did uh, That would have been cool. Okay, so that trade didn't work. So. Well, obviously, yeah. Alright, let me try it again for real. Poor Scyther's gotta evolve again. That'd be painful. Re-evolution. That's what, that's what you, you know, it's all about Mega Evolution. If it's painful to evolve, Mega Evolution is like a travesty. Maybe, yeah. I don't know, is it painful in the manga? I don't know. They never mention that. Uh, usually it's just a panel flip. <laughs> like, one, it's all the way, there's no transition. Yeah. So what's next now? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Slow King? Yeah, it looks like it. Slowking! What's after Slowking? Polytoad. We'll find out. Cool. I think he could use some pants, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what the shell's for. Polytoad! What's after Polytoad? I can't tell, I can't... Oh, I see. It's Kingdra. Kingdra? Yeah. What do you think, Mike? Uh, uh, it's probably Kingdra. I don't know the answers. I don't know how you do this. I was just looking at the bottom of the screen. It was too fast for me. Yeah. What? Polyworld's evolving? Why are you so surprised? I thought that was the objective. I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe the player's not quite aware of what I'm up to. He just takes orders. He's just making him hold items for no reason. Like, eh, maybe this will be cool. Alright. Oh, it's Porygon 2. Porygon 2! Nice guess, man. Yeah. I'm really good today. What's next? It's Kingdra. Oh. Queendra. Oh, time to updo update Windows. Hmm? Oh, it's not important. Because it's virtual. Oh. Okay, I thought you were you referring thought I to a real been, thing. Yeah. Because we're watching this on my laptop. Attached to a TV. Get it, get on that slow oh. fast diet. Oh, what is the next one? It's Kingdra. Kingdra! Whoa. Get Amazing. Slow fast diet, though. And then who knows? How come you can't upgrade Porygon Z? They haven't figured out how yet. Mega. Mega Porygon Z. Yeah. It's probably like a four dimensional being. Alright, here we go. What's the one after this? This is Wild Guess. Uh, I don't know. 
There's very few. I don't know. I'm gonna say Mareep. Quillava! Alright, so we're sending Cyndaquil, um... But it doesn't trade. To like, it Crystal. Doesn't it doesn't evolve by trade, though. It does not, but I'm putting it in Crystal. Oh, and then you're just gonna level it up to Typhlosion. Yep. And then, if he needs to get further in Silver, it just trades over and he's just gonna destroy everything. Or yep. he could just reset Silver and... Why would I do that? So you could get Totodile? No, because I want to play all three games. Oh, okay. <laughs> Crystal, well, really, silver, well, and a little bit of gold. You really just need to get the starter, that's it. Yeah, that's right. Still, it would be weird if I didn't play all three. <laughs> well, it'd be weird for you. Yeah. Alright, I think this is the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. Trade completed.